If your info tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of drawing a blank. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you've had a good week. Today, I'm going to be taking a crack at this Warriors Design Exercise Challenge meme created by Andy slash Vanilla Leap. I saw this prompt floating around on Twitter and was immediately interested in doing it myself. And I figured it'd be fun to get suggestions from my patrons on who I should draw. If you want to give this a go yourself, there is a link to the drawing prompt in the Nibbly Bibbly, so take a look! Anyway, let's get started. So the first prompt is pretty standard and a good warm-up to get us going. Draw your own personal interpretation of a character. I picked this one myself and decided to draw Turtle Tail, who doesn't get enough love in this fandom, honestly. Dawn of the Clan's characters need more love. Turtle Tail is described in the books as a white calico she-cat with a short tail and green eyes. On top of that, I wanted to be sure to capture her positive and energetic personality. I like to imagine Turtle Tail with long fur on her back that kind of curls out at the belly to give her that namesake turtle shell look. And to add to that, I put on calico spots just on her back to also give that tortoise shell look. Ha! Tortoise shell. Yeah. <laughs> turtle Tail is by no means dainty, but she is very cute, so I wanted to give her proportions to match that with big fluffy ear tips, short stumpier legs, and soft wavy fur. I really like how she turned out. Next up was a fun one, opposite of Canon Crow Feather, suggested by Ara. Okay, oof. So I decided to base my idea of what Canon Crow Feather looks like with my own interpretation. Long legs, dark, short gray fur, blue eyes, sharp angular features, a stern looking face, etc. And from that, I really just tried to go as opposite as I could. Opposite crow feather is soft and squishy. Not a handsome face, but gentle. Stubby limbs and white fur. While the end result is amusing as heck, and a fun way to learn how to break a design down and try to go the complete opposite direction, I'm a bit too weirded out by this opposite crow feather to call it a success. I just try to imagine this crow feather going through the same story beats as canon crow feather, and it's interesting. <laughs> so I guess in terms of making him an opposite, this is a win? Number three on our list is Realistic Cinder Pelt, suggested by Scooter. Now, realistic could be taken a lot of different ways. Realistic anatomy, markings, genetics, and with Cinder Pelt you could specifically go into how to realistically portray her injury and yada yada yada, but I decided to go for a more realistically proportioned Cinder Pelt with less stylized markings. She's grooming her banged up leggy, which I gave a few unrealistic scars for clarity's sake. In reality, Cinderpelt scars would probably heal up pretty well over time, and her mobility wouldn't really be hindered all that much like she is in the books. Three-legged cats tend to get along just as well as four-legged cats. But for the sake of keeping her book accurate, I kept her with the banged up leg. Her markings were fun to do. I imagine Cinderpelt to just have these very faint speckled tabby markings. Cinderpelt has always been a fave, and it was nice to draw her again. I don't draw her enough, actually. Next up, we have my favorite prompt from this list, hands down. Sparkle Cat Scourge, suggested by Ray of Sunshine. Hmm, yes, this. This is what we're all here for. In case you are unfamiliar with the term sparkle cat, sparkle dog, etc., first off, I'm sorry you've been so sheltered. <laughs> but jokes aside, sparkle is a kind of design aesthetic. It's a bit hard to explain or nail down exactly what makes a design count as a sparkle animal, but some general design traits you see are as follows. Dark saturated color contrasted with bright neon colors. 
exaggerated proportions, goth and or punk inspired clothes, accessories, and hairstyles, detailed markings, pupils in abnormal shapes like diamonds, plus shapes, X's, etc. Of course, not all sparkle designs will have these things, but it's just kind of the big things that stand out to me. And I'm not super experienced with sparkle designing, but I think the aesthetic is super cool and fun. And I'm glad to see that it's still around after all this time and remembered for being, yes, quite edgy and silly, but that's what makes it fun. Anyway, Scourge is the perfect fit for this prompt. I don't know how well I did it justice. I feel like I should have added a few more shades of black or maybe went in for some brighter neon colors for his bangs. Sean suggested the skull pupils and oh, he couldn't have been more right. Please, everyone, go put more Sparkle Warrior cats into the world. I need it. <laughs> Number five on the list is official art design of Soul. Another suggestion by Scooter. I actually really like the quote unquote canon design of Soul. It's pretty iconic and actually pretty consistent between James L. Berry's design and Wayne McLaughlin's design of the character. Though I always loved how smooth Soul looked in the Long Shadows cover and in the art featured here. In the books, Soul is described as a black torty tom with a pseudo mane of fur around his neck and a lion like tail. It's Definitely one of the most unique warrior designs portrayed in the books. So since there are some differences in the official art, plus what the books say, I took the parts that I liked from each to create this soul. I kept the smooth head and the long face from the McLaughlin art with just a bit of that scruffiness from Barry's artwork, and I think they blended together quite well. My own soul design is pretty different from this, but again, I think this is one of the better canon designs that Warriors has. And now, last but not least, we have design a warrior cat as a specific breed. And Inu Pickle Cat Dragon suggested Tiger Star as a munchkin cat. Mm, yes, beautiful. <sighs> What's even more beautiful is the fact that Scourge is much taller in the earlier art, so <laughs> other tables have turned to Tiger Star. Now it's your turn to be tiny. If this was any other cat breed with more specific features other than short legs, I would talk about how you should take that into account when you do this, of course, but this one mostly just boiled down to, haha, evil man is shorty man. So I hope you enjoy my childish humor with this one. And that's all of them. This was really fun. I really liked all the prompts and I think this is a great little design exercise that could be done fairly quickly. And it gave me an excuse to draw in ways that I normally wouldn't. If anyone does some of these prompts as well, I would love to see it over on Twitter, either at Tenille Flowers or use the hashtag drawing a blank to show me your takes on some of these. I hope you all have a fantastic week and remember to stay inspired.